Okay, let's have a go at it. Ugh. This place looks very scary. First of all, there's a statue I can talk to. I don't feel as if someone were watching him. And then, as quickly as it came, the sensation was gone. As I unfurled the scroll of guidance, words began to appear on the blank, faded parchment. Great warrior, you have done well in reaching the region of Burned Bless. The area of lava was created by the priests to shield against the demon's onslaught. It was no easy task to create such a drastic yet stable shift in the environment, but we did what was necessary to ensure our security. The only way to reach Solomon's Shrine is by traversing the paths through the lava itself. You may find some nearby who could be of help to you. Be, not th be sure not to judge solely on appearances. It's also likely you may find one of the priest's magic here, as well as other magical items. Please, warrior, do what you must to reach Solomon's Shrine. As I already swore, as I already swore it's gradually faded away. Yeah, the Rue village is supposed to be over here, but I don't think they're... I, I'm pretty sure they're going to be hostile to me unless I am also a Rue. That I can't even enter. Uh, shoot, what? I don't know how to enter it. Hmm. So it was supposed to be over here somewhere. Should be to the left, right? I have to equip my mat talk. Seriously, how do I enter the rune nest? Ugh. Okay, apparently I have to use the evil bell. As I listen closely, you could hear foot, foot, uh, faint sounds of footsteps in the distance. Hmm? Problem is, I'll probably still use up MP just trying to talk to these guys. We're driven out of our homes by warmongering demons and forced to hide here. Ours is a peace-loving clan. Peace, love, sleep, food, and information. What happens... I'm gonna save real quick. I wanna see what happens if I try to take off my magic. They just don't say anything. But at least they're not hostile. I heard uh, I heard some rumor that it could actually hurt me, but Rhoda Leaf. Okay. Good thing is, with Rhoda Fruit, I can restore my MP and such. Huh. Hey, can I let you in on a little secret? You know my brother, Bruce? He has, like, the worst memory. If he ever does something bad, he forgets all about it within half a day. Turus. So, that means I can restore all my MP anyways. Nice. Well, I'm s or druzy. Or not, I don't see it hit 140, so probably not. Road leaf is not food, my lad. It is the tool of true gentleman. A shield against poison gas. Power alone will not see the gentleman through the, his hardships. Wisdom must temper use of that power. Note my massive brain. Heh. <laughs> oh, so you have a road leaf, do you? Man, that smells amazing. Put it over your mouth and pr presto, no more worries from poison gas. Don't forget to equip the Rota Leaf when you head for the poison gas room. Just having it in your possession will do no good at all. So days ago, I saw a human boy being led to the poison-filled passage by demons. I hope he's okay. Yeah, this is going to be a really annoying f uh, escort quest, just like with f Fina. The good news is that the escort guy can apparently throw rocks. The bad news is that, well, it's an escort quest. 
in an ease game. And also, this place will now be marked off on my map. See? Rue's Nest. You are here! Obviously, we're not going to use it up just yet. Uh, I hope I can... And right now, I already spent all my money on Tier 3 equipment. Tier 4 is going to be pretty costly. Huh. I'm gonna have the Roto Leaf equipped by default just in case. What are you saying? Yeah, just to confirm, resting here does nothing, right? For my MP. Oh, it does heal my MP, but it always drains back immediately. Oh well, at least I can teleport here whenever I want. This is another ho sort of home base. That way I don't have to go through the entire ice area again. I forgot to show this last time, but there's apparently a secret passage here that'll get me into to a chest containing a thousand gold. I have no idea if this is in the DS version. Sorry I forgot about it in the previous video. But it's all good, and it's only a thousand gold anyways. I can make that much just by killing a few enemies here and there with fireball spam. Heh. <laughs> what makes you wonder, what would happen if I tried to go there be before fighting Tiamolf? Time to continue exploring the moat. I am just gonna... Oh shoot. Where am I going? Right now I want to look for the, a, a third iron ore, but I'm just going to have to... Oh shit, these guys are strong. Well, good thing there's a ta another town nearby so I can hopefully heal there and try to farm them. Okay, another one. Whoa! Okay, seriously, even with this good equipment, these things are taking a long time to kill. Holy crap. Anyways, I don't want to travel too far beyond the iron ore, since there's, there's a poison room and I don't really want to do that just yet. There we go, iron ore. I'll bring this back to that when gu shopkeeper guy in Lance. Okay. Just gonna do a traditional hack and slash on him. Yeah. When there's only one of them. I can just use save, uh, save and loads to try to smack them with... <laughs> just try to smack them with a good old hack and slash. Okay, now I need to somehow um, get over to the, uh, to the next village. Okay, as long as I take these guys on in isolation, I should be fine. Uh, okay, now I this one this map is a little big, but I think I could. Okay, that was not a good move on my part. And yeah, they do massive damage if I screw up. So, don't screw up. Okay, keep going up. Dead. Might as well kill, get some non-MP kills on them while I can. Well, they're nice and disorganized. Okay. I may have to sh waste a few 
Oh shoot, this this one is pretty fast. Yeah, this one's gonna be a tough one to deal with. I may have to bust out the Rue magic. Remember on the DS version, they gave me quite a bit of trouble. Da! Aha! And peeless kill. Okay, I'm almost there. It's a little further. At least the lava here is aesthetic and can't actually kill me. And there's no enemies in this little corridor. Anyways. Up and to the right should be the town. Am I leveling up at all? No. I am wasting a lot of MP though. Just because... Ugh. An armadillo monster! Ugh. Okay, that was not good. Man, if it weren't for the ability to save and load, I would, I would not survive. Holy crap, that one took a lot of hits. Uh, let's keep going. Uh, and, uh, oh shit! God, they're starting to gang up on me. Err. Aha! Sneak attack. I'm almost there. Just a little more. Aha! Uh -huh. Colony of Lava. Okay. Um... Are there any human beings around here? Yes, I see a bridge. That's a good sign. Hello there, Carson. Anytime I go near that goddess statue at the entrance of the Ice Ridge, I get a feeling of being watched. Oh, there are Ruse hiding around there? Well, that explains it. I guess I am being watched when I'm there. Hoo-hoo, next town. You! You're head so red. Is that natural? Or is that the blood of your enemies? That's your natural hair color? Seriously? Actually, come to think of it, didn't somebody say something about a redhead just recently? I think it was Ruba. Something about Tarf. Oh, I just can't remember. <sighs> Anyways, now I can... T now I got a nice little teleport point and... I better... And it's gonna be quite a journey trying to talk to every NPC. Okay... And the third set of armor is gonna eat my wallet. Are you the one? You're... These guys here with me somehow? Never venture outside alone. The demon's numbers have been increasing lately. And keep watch over your children. Bust in here real quick. Grandpa won't let me go outside because it's too it's dangerous. But I want to go find Tarf and play with him. And Grandpa Ruba won't tell me where he is, which is real annoying. Grown-ups are weird sometimes. <sighs> Even though I'm in a safe zone, I still feel... <laughs> the truth is... I had a really hard time with this in the DS version because, in the second, <laughs> mostly because the enemies were just got really, really strong in this area, as you can see from my save and loads. You, you're the one. You look the part, all right. I, this is my chance to, sur well, not really surpass myself. It wouldn't be fair to compare to 
DS and the PC version since they play so differently. Look at all the animals here, and there's an achievement for dealing with them. It's gonna be complicated. Oh, red hair. Get out! Scram! What the hell is wrong with them? Huh. Seriously, Swimming Demons 2. As such, we almost never see the ruse anymore. The divine messengers, if you will. They're such cute little things, curse or no. Wonder where they all went. Not here right now. Leave a message and I'll get right back to you. Wait, what? What do you mean you're not here right now? You're. Uh, I have to befriend all the animals here, which could get real tricky. Don't see any human beings in here. Outsider. Red hair. Why do these guys know about me? That's not right. Yeah. Oh my, red hair. What do you think you're doing, barging into someone's home like this? Is there a, like a hospital anything here? Sim. Staring? I wasn't staring. Red hair. Seriously. How am I supposed to get any rest in this area? That means... That really sucks because if I teleport here... Ugh. Shoot. There's no shops either. What kind of rundown place is this? Ugh. Where did I t um let me check the notes. Okay, I'm missing fifty one and fifty two. I don't know which ones those are. Ruba. Mine's the drawbridge in the north part of the village. Whoa, I can push these I can push these pumpkins around. They were cursed by the demons, changing their appearance forever. Now that people often mistaken them for demons. As a result, they all scattered off, going into hiding somewhere. I wonder where they've gone. Probably somewhere isolated, away from the prying eyes of demons. Push pumpkins around for some reason. Hmm, a redhead. I'm Ruba, the bridge garden. You are? I all told the man his name. I see, so you're at all. I'm sorry, but the bridge's winch has, was broken by some demons. It won't go down. For the time being, there's no way to repair it either. You won't be able to get across. <laughs> yeah. After talking... Okay, so... Let me ch make sure I have... Um... I can't get Tarf's entry yet because he's... <laughs> Not around here right now. All right, so um, let's see. I think I got everyone. Since the next part is just the ruse. Okay. I think this is where I'm supposed to use alter magic. Alright, just get out of sight for a moment. It's gonna be a waste of MP, but who cares? Oh, oh my! It's a Rue! Nothing to worry about. Aw, oh, how cute! It's a Rue! Demon? Puh, I spin the faces of demons! Spit, spit! Ew! Run! 
Yeah, save me! Aru, I suppose the demon's made a slave of you too. You've come to check on me, I suppose? As promised, I haven't let Adol cross. Tell the man in the black cloak that I'm doing what he said, so he'd better give me my son back. Adol's just going to keep coming back, though. You know that, right? It'll be much harder to turn away, too, each time he does. So whatever you're doing, do it fast. Ah. Okay. Turn back to Adol and talk again. Adol told the bridge guard that he knew about his son being kidnapped by the man in black. Wait, so that Rue was... I see, so you know everything then. It all started two days ago. Torf! Dad! A red-haired swordsman by the name of Adol will be coming through here soon. Do not let him cross the bridge. Just do as you're told and your son will be returned unharmed. Torf! So Torf was taken and those were the instructions for ensuring his safe return. You must have noticed how the villagers have been regarding you, no? It's because they all know what happened. I bear you no grudge, but I'll do what I must to ensure Tarf's safety. Offer to rescue Tarf. I'll all promise to rescue the bridge guard's son. You must be joking. You're up against demons here. Then again, you're the one they're trying to stop, so clearly you are a threat to them. I guess maybe... You're not joking. Okay, if that's the way you wish to, it to be, then who am I to object? I'll leave Tarf's rescue in your hands. I wish I could help you, but if they think we're actually again, acting against them, they'll hurt Tarf and possibly the village. Here, take these in my place. They should prove quite useful. Whisper Earrings. It's gonna be a difficult mission. They're called Whisper Earrings. They've been passed down in my family for generations. When you're wearing them, you'll be able to hear even the faintest of sounds. My son must be imprisoned somewhere around here. Listen through those, and you might be able to hear him. <sighs> There's no way to restore MP in this village. Seriously. At least the ruse gave me a resting spot. I guess the others don't know yet. Uh. Hey, you're going to rescue Tarf? Really? Please, save Tarf for his sake and for Ruba's. I'm not here right now. Uh. Anyways, apparently I can give him some gifts. Okay. Let me check it. So he'll give give five to seven consumables, and he will hand over the raw meat. Uh, thanks, but no thanks. Huh? That's strange. I'm thanks, but no thanks. What? Maybe if I set him on fire... Ah, missed. Oh no no no, this is not happening! I don't get it, what am I doing wrong? What does he eat? Maybe I turn to a roof first, I don't know. Good day, you. God damn, I don't know what to do here. Huh.
stupid. Ugh. Seriously, they're really terrible. This is the next enemy, huh? Ah, shit, there's so many. Holy shit. It's large enough to cover the mouth and miss a sweet scent. Oh shit, I can't save here. Better continue onwards. As long as I have this equipped, I can actually avoid taking too much damage, huh? Ugh. Can I actually heal in this poison room? Yes, I can, strangely enough. As long as I have that s roto leaf, I guess I'm good. Ugh. Uh. I should probably stay back and farm those giant lizard enemies. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. I managed to farm one of those enemies. I think Adel would taste yummy. I'm, I'll be glad when he's in my tummy. Which would be better, boiled or fried? I'm such a fretter, I can't decide. That rhymes a bit. Hey you, you got one of those fruits, don't ya? Hand it over, punk. Screw you! Anyway, so from this map, where should I go? I need to head... Left. Keith and that human care are going to starve in that rock prison. Serves them right for crossing us. Oh shoot, I think that lava guy have to far I have to farm real quick. Be right back. On second thought, I need to find a better opportunity to farm that lava guy. He's right next to one of those really fast lizards, so... Back to Rue magic. Screw you guys, I gotta... Be next to bridge from the colony of lava. Now Al is stuck. He'll never make it to the Shrine of Solomon. Okay, point D is a medicinal herb, but I don't need that right now. Point E is the black pearl. Sure, Keith never was any good at obeying orders. Nothing but a troublemaker, that one. Black pearl is embedded in the statue's forehead. Black pearl is mine. Uh, we ain't got no parts of the black pearl. We're all doomed. What are you talking about? You can't be that powerless. Okay, now I have to go to the upper right here. Okay, seriously, this is a really nasty dungeon. I'm gonna scout this area a bit. Okay, it looks like I can fight this red guy in isolation. Maybe. Okay, managed to get the entry for that one too. Let's see, I still have quite a few slots left, and I also seriously, what could be be? I don't, I, I don't I haven't encountered all of them. I gotta backtrack at some point. Okay, where exactly am I now? May want to equip a altar magic so no one finds. Okay, never mind. No altar magic here. There's no monsters in this room. It's actually a safe room. I will appear into the crack in the wall. It was too dark to see anything on the other side. I need to save. This could be big. This is going to be a really troublesome achievement too. Seriously. Why? 
Okay. Equip the wris Whisper Earrings. Heard faint sounds of breathing through the crack in the wall and tried calling out to their source. Is somebody there? Hey! I'm Tarf. Are you here to rescue me? This stone wall is really solid, so unless there are a big mass of muscles, I don't think you can knock it down. Gee, if only Dogi. <laughs> we brought Dogi along, huh? Huh? It sounded as if Tarf was speaking with someone on the other side of the wall. So you need what exactly? Those are some pretty specific tastes. Oh, Pearl! Okay, I thought you said girl. Hey, you still there? Keeps asking me to tell you something. He says he wants you to find him something called the Black Pearl. If you can get a hold of it and bring it here, he says he can break the wall and set us free. So see if you can find it, okay? Huh? You have the Black Pearl? Here, try to pass it to me through the gap in the wall. Just a little more to the right. Almost got it. Okay, hold it. Right there. Awesome. I can feel it. Alright, I got it. Thanks, mister. Wait, what do you mean tell him to get back? Hey, you out there! My soulmate here says you should stand back. I think he's gonna do something. All right, we're out. We're free. Huh? Keith, where you where are you going? You're leaving? He busted out a hole on the other side. Keith. He's gone. Anyway, thanks for your help, mister. With Keith in here, I almost didn't mind getting kidnapped even though it's been almost two full days. Have you been able to poop? I was finally starting to get really hungry though, so I'm glad you came when you did. Keith is a demon who was locked in here with me. Even though he's not human, he can speak our language. I really wasn't scared to be around him. He was fun to talk to. From what I could tell, he'd been here a lot longer than me. It was also really nice, a kind, well-behaved, intelligent demon. Never seen anything like it before. But when I handed him the Black Pearl, he suddenly turned vicious, like a normal demon. Then he broke the wall. Why would something like that happen? This looks like a rock to me. Oh hey, are you Adol by any chance? The demon who shut me in here was telling the artist to look for a red-haired swordsman named Adol. You know, I was kind of wondering if you are the reason I got locked up in there. But you came to rescue me, so I guess it's all forgiven. So you want to escort me back to the village? I mean, I'm a defenseless little kid, so it'd be mean to say no. Thanks. Come on, let's get going. Uh, this is now. There's going to be a bunch of really bad achievements associated with him. <laughs> so now I have to give him a bunch of consumables. Uh, good. Eh, good luck, Mr. Adol. I'm counting on you. So apparently, if I use seven of these uh, seven items on him, he'll turn. Uh, he's going to get uh, uh, to level two. Leveled up. I'll fight too. Yeah, this is not good. Gah. Wing is pretty much useless here. Ugh. Seriously, I may just skip this stupid achievement. It's it's ridiculous. Seriously. Holy shit.
How fast are- You're slow as molasses! We're screwed. This is bad. Really bad. This is so horrible. North out of the cell, then east into the next area. This is terrible. <laughs> Seriously, I'm, I'm just gonna skip this achievement. I'm just gonna stick, skip the level up achievement. It's stupid. I'm not interested in fighting a losing battle. It's just, it's, it's not like, yeah, seriously, that achievement is just BS. I mean, if it was just one level, I could understand it, but all the way to level 20 freaking five, screw that. Ah, oh, shit. I can't kill these guys very quickly. Oh my god, it killed me. There has to be a better way, seriously. I can't do this escort mission, it's just impossible. If I turn to a root, it might make it easier to at least avoid drawing aggro. Oh my god, my MP is going to run out. There we go. Back to Runus. I don't care about either of the achievements. This is stupid, and one of them is probably going to get me arrested too. One of them requires me to go to the room where I found the Iron Ore, which is too freaking far away. Screw it. Back to the village. Screw the achievements. They're both stupid, and one of them, and one of them is even perverted. Yes, this is Rue assassination technique. Seriously, kid, let's just keep going. Screw all these mooks. We just need to go, go, go. Oh, shit, I think I'm heading the wrong way, actually. We need to get, go this way, kid. I may have to... I may have to chug down a road of fruit. Come on. I'll just talk my way out- if, if, if any enemy tries to kill us, I'll just talk my way out of it. Talk and then assassinate. Okay, back to Rue assassination. Seriously, just getting him to the damn village is already going to be friggin' hard enough. I pretty much have to use my Rue form to assassinate everyone who tries to friggin' mess with me. Oh shoot. See you! Hold on. Save! Assassinate! Took some damage, but can't be helped.
God damn, kid, you are so freaking slow. Oh yeah, Rueform can push him without talking to- Haha! -ha. Yeah, you can't mess with this, Rue! Seriously, I'm gonna run out of MP if you don't hurry the fuck up, Tarf. Haha! -ha! Assassination complete! Seriously, fuck these guys. Uh, we're almost at- we're almost to the corridor, and once we're at the corridor, it's gonna get even tougher, because I'll have less room to maneuver. Yeah, screw these achievements, they're just way too hard. I'm just gonna focus on being the boss of a nightmare, that's already enough of an achievement and challenge for me. Like seriously, the stuff we're doing at Tarf is like Dark Souls level shit or worse. Don't tell Lord Dolls even slacking off. Okay, got it. Barely. Okay, hurry along now, kid. We're not out of the park yet, and those guys might respawn behind us. Oh god, we are so close, man. Oh. Come on! Move your sorry ass! Okay, we're at the colony of lava. <sighs> Finally, I... I do not want to risk... Uh, uh, risk getting him killed. It's just too... It's just too difficult... To, uh, to, uh, to get these achievements. I'm just gonna... Like, seriously. And plus, one of them is gonna get me arrested. So why would I even want to get that achievement, right? Uh <sighs> Yeah, it's not like I'm gonna do time trials either, so I'm not going for 100% here. Yeah, we're finally free! Tarf! Haha! <laughs> Thank goodness, Tarf. You're not hurt. You're alright? I'm fine. No big deal at all. Not like I'm scared of the demons even one little bit. I am kinda hungry, though. I see. Well, let's get some food to you then. This is way farther than I've gotten the back then, when I was in the DS version. Okay. As for you, I don't know how I can ever thank you. I'm so sorry for what I said to you before. If not for Mr. Adol, I don't know what would have happened to me. I could have been left to starve, and man, that would be the worst fate of all. Heh. <laughs> Well, this has been a real eye-opener for me. We can't allow the demons to keep doing things like this. Time to lower that bridge. You show him, Dad. Fight the machine. Fight the machine. <laughs> you have some place to be, no? I'll lower the bridge for you right away. I leveled up from that experience. Oh, strangely I recover hit points in this village. So you really did rescue Tarf. I heard all about it from his cousin, L. She didn't want me to say anything to you, but she was actually really impressed by your actions. As am I. Thank you so much for saving our little menace. I'm really sorry. I know that all of this is a demon's fault, not yours. But I mean, if you weren't such a threat to them, Tarf would have never been taken, you know? We can't let the demons run roughshod over us anymore. We're going to show them that we can protect our own. I, uh, I'm really sorry I said you were an outsider. 
Thanks for rescuing Tarf. When I grow up, I'm going to be just like you and make the village safe from demons. Ugh, <sighs> okay. So you actually saved Tarf. So it's because of you that he got kidnapped in the first place, so aren't we still in danger of you around? What what would I do if my son were to be taken away? I hear if you play dead when the demons come around, they'll leave you be. Sounds pretty far-fetched, though. I don't think so. They're not that dumb. Even if they act silly while I'm in rue form. Thank you for saving Tarf. Ellie may not have said anything, but that's just her way. She's grateful to, as well, to be sure. She was in her face when I told her what you did. She was beaming from ear to ear. How spoken she is, but she really means well and is really a very sweet girl. Seriously. Mr. Adol, you're being watched by the demons, right? You should get out of here before anyone finds out I escaped. If you go this way, past the lava filled regions, you'll reach Ramia Village. You all set to go? Oh, the whisper earrings? Keep them. They may yet serve you in your journey. Ugh. <sighs> I am resetting one of my old potatoes to a PC, and even though it's been over an hour, it's only at 15%. I'm going to have to leave it on overnight. That kind of sucks, but what can I do? There we have it. Off you go, then. I really have no idea why the hard drive just had uh, just sometimes forked out on me. Even with the hard drive scan, it came up uh, the disk checking utility, it came up clean. And I opened it up, and the hard drive connection doesn't seem to be bad or anything. I hear you rescued Tar. Though I guess it's kind of your fault he was taken in the first place. But still, he didn't do anything wrong. Uh, a red-haired young man. Hey, You've already saved Tar, so I guess we don't have to drive you away anymore. Ugh. Okay, before I forget, I'm gonna sell that iron ore. I'm gonna need it if I want to buy the fourth tier equipment in Ramya Village later on. Gimme. Thanks. And I don't think he's got any new stock. Nope, nothing. I'm stuck with this armor for the time being. Anything new to say about Lilia being missing? Oh, have you seen my daughter? I'm starting to say she's disappeared. I wonder where she could have gone. I hope she's alright. Seriously, how how do the demons keep kidnapping everyone like that? Like, without anyone noticing. Maybe it's because Lilia was out in the field. Maybe that's why she got caught. Yeah, better set cur strict curfews from now on. Seriously. Okay, time to t time to give Marley flower. All right, all's forgiven then. Never, neither lender nor borrow be, and it means my fiery demise and a gift receiver I should be not as well. Well, thank you. So, what do you think of our humble village? Hasn't been all there's been all been sunshine and flowers here for us, especially in a lava pit. But be it ever so, so humble, you know. Give apple. Why, thank you. Your good deeds shall surely come back to you tenfold. Though not from me. I've got nothing, I'm afraid. Why, thank you. You know, an older woman would be a perfect match for a devoted young man like yourself. You'd be best off with a woman who'd love you as you are, embracing the bad with the good. Thank you again. A hard-working man like you really deserves an honest, earthy woman. One who would forsake uh, all others to live out her days with you. Thank you again. You're such a faithful man. I imagine that even women with beauty rivaling that of the goddesses would be unable to resist your charms. 
May the royal head be blessed for you. Receive raw meat. Wait, that sounds wrong somehow. It's raw, so make sure you don't let it get spoiled. Now it sounds like an innuendo. No! <laughs> Just kidding. Well... Maybe he will, it, he will turn out to be the one true Wafu, who knows. Could very well be. And seriously, what am I supposed to do with this pumpkin anyways? Yes, the one true Wafu. But can I even eat raw meat like this? If Rosa is still an eating, it can be, do a body good. Like, we'll give Adol food poisoning, and it's just a slight edit of the smoked meat. Okay, let's see if I can find the... There should be two more monsters that I have to get here. Let's see if I can find a good opportunity to farm them. What the... Um... Here it is. There. This will be my... Oh Holy crap, I need to get fire. Okay, well, this will be a good point to farm the Minotaur. Ugh. Could be tough, though. To get the Minotaur scan, so... First I better head down. Halt! Who goes there? You guys don't... Why don't they attack Ruse, though? I'm sweating so much, I think I might dry up. 2,000 gold. Okay. Next to head my way over there. Even if the bridge guard betrays us, we still have an ace in the hole up ahead. Unless Adol can beat him, there's no way through. So... How about that scorching heat? Sure isn't pleasant, isn't it? If the bridge guard turns the traitor on us, Adol will no doubt be coming this way. But a huge demon's been summoned to take him out as a last resort contingency plan, so he's toast if he does. That's a new monster, the last one I have to farm in this area. Yeah, be right back. Okay, I managed to get all of them. On my way. They're no longer relevant. Uh, and up ahead is the boss room. Oh boy. I just hope I have enough MP. Ugh. Okay, here. Actually, I could, should just save here so I don't have to deal with that random enemy. Yeah. This fucking boss. Oh no! Am I even doing damage to him?
how far am I? I don't even know. Fuck. No! Oh my god, I did it! Yay! Didn't take me too many tries, I hope. Gah! Release the bogus! Okay. Seriously, look at that. He, the bones are set up in the E symbol for some reason. This boss must have been a real artist type, huh? Okay, and let's see if I can get to the next village where they will hopefully have a clinic. You know, basic facilities expected of human civilization. Okay, maybe I should equip my room magic just in case. Don't know what's waiting for me around here. There's no treasures in any... I, I like having this map tell me there's no treasures. That way I don't have to waste any time dealing with their stuff. Yeah. Okay, so... Oof. Seriously. That wasn't too bad, but it did force me to use all my herbs, so... I did not do as good a job as I could have done. Oh well. And yeah, the next town is going to have some really weird achievements and stuff that requires me to do things in a certain order, so, yeah. Maybe I should just go with Fireball, I don't see any <laughs> demon lords around here. Uh, I see a light and I see some pots, I think this is human civilization. Whew. I think I did pretty well back there for once. Seriously, I don't think they're giving me quite as much trouble as the as that Golian yet, but you know, I might jinx myself. And my uh, PC reset for my potato computer is still at 21%. Alright, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe.